Hello guys, welcome back to another video with Curly Gaming Corp. If you do like this video, do give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. This is a version 2 because the version 1 of this tutorial that I made no longer um, works as well as this one and this uh, new version of Aerotech makes life so much easier. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, so you've got your boat model. Uh, I'm just named my RNLI inshore because this used to be my jet ski, and it looks pretty nice. The only reason it's got this tint on it is because we're in the uh, base plate version 2.0, and it's got lighting in it, which makes objects look kind of odd. So uh, I'm going to keep it, but I'm just going to weaken the. Uh, uh, I can't. I don't know how to edit it, so I'm just going to leave that for now. But it looks fine. I'm going to. Add this. This is a model, by the way, that I have made for you guys. It's not my system. It's just I've made it in a model, so it's easier for you guys to be able to use it. Uh, I'll make it public so that you guys can access it as well and download it or whatever. So I'm just going to first of all copy and paste. Do you want to do Control C? Then you want to go into Iron Lion Shore. Control V. Okay, they did not go right, so you just want to go drag them in, as you can tell over here. Next, you want to do Control G on your part, so there's a second part. Rename this to Body. Then, because this is your part, so you don't need to do anything with it. You need to copy and paste this, so do Control C, Control V. Then, you want to drag this down into Body. Then, you want to get the main model. Drag this down into Body so that it's all nice and done. And all nice and tidy. Right, we're going to drag this all the way to the back. Then we're going to move the seat up so that it's slightly higher, just like this. So it's just above the seat, so you can actually sit on it. Hook part, don't need to worry about. The main part needs to go nearer the front of the boat, because that's where the sound will come from whenever you click H. If you wanted to add ELS, Emergency Lighting System, then you can probably do that as well. I'm going to just go into parts, because I know as a fact this has got a weld. I think I'm going to leave it though, just in case that breaks it. But you don't need a world if your boat doesn't already have a world because it will 90% chance already be done. So I'm just going to very quickly load in and see if it works. And if it does, well, okay, so I've just loaded into the game now. I'm going to hop onto the jet ski, hold T to turn on the engine. And then once it's green, it means you can just turn it off. There you go. Now it's a bit of a, um, it's an amazing boat system. Let's just be realistic here. It has got some things that need to be fixed, ex especially on the jet ski. There's no way it's able to go this fast. 70 knots. It, I reckon the top speed of it in real life is about 20. And in gale conditions, I'd say about maybe 10 at tops. Because I know as a fact it does not go 70. But yeah, as you can tell, it's definitely working. Uh, if you wanted to mess around with the settings, you can, but it's not really recommended unless you know scripting. Because it's very, very difficult to learn. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.